Hey everyone, my name is Desiree of Decalise Art Studio, where we use art and words to inspire women from the inside out. So it's been a while since I've done a little sit down video. I wanted to give you an update because there's been so much going on within the last three months, really the last six months of this year with Decalise and just me personally. The last two videos I have been um, talking about starting over and the messy middle and they have been kind of uh, metaphorically speaking <laughs> to where I feel like I am in life right now in art and in my personal life, my health, everything. So June has been one for the books. I was in the hospital twice. I've had surgery twice. Um, and they were related to kidney stones. I've never had kidney stones. Don't know anybody in my family who's ever had them. So it was a complete shock when I showed up to the ER thinking that I had leftover symptoms of food poisoning, but it was actually a nine millimeter kidney stone. You can't pass that big of a kidney stone. Maybe two or three uh, millimeters, but not nine millimeters, pretty much one centimeter, which is like the size of an AA battery. Yeah. So who knows how long this has been festering and growing inside of me. I had an ultrasound, an abdominal ultrasound earlier in the year for other reasons. And they showed that there was fluid in my kidneys. But the doctor that I had at the time did not really go over my results with me. I pretty much had to self-explain <laughs> through the help of Google <laughs> of what I was reading on my results. And so... It possibly could have been caught and taken care of back then, but God knows what he was doing because uh, I just, I can't even get into all the things that God has been working out. It has felt so backwards the way that I've been getting um, medical help <laughs> this year, but God has been with us every step of the way, working it out every step of the way, and I'm just so grateful. I'm I'm like finally at the point where I'm like, God, I have reached the end of me. You do what you need to do. Because whenever I put my hand in the mix, things always get messed up. And you always have to come and clean the mess up for me. <laughs> so instead of me making more mess and you having to clean up after me, like you just take control and I just follow your lead. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how confusing it is, no matter how frustrating it is. No matter how much in the moment I may lose my hope and just be like, at least I don't lose my faith. Like, it's kind of like getting to the place where you're like, you know what? I'm numb. Like, whatever happens, happens. And God, you do what you want to do. And I feel like in a way that needs to happen in order for us to truly relinquish control and rely on God um, to do what he does best. And so he does nothing normal to our like society standards um some things yes yeah, like okay but when things are not done in a way that we expect them like it just makes the testimony it just makes the miracle so much greater um so much more impactful and it just stays with you in such a way that I just feel like it continues to build and um, build and build and build upon your faith so as much as I hated what I went through I don't regret it I'm just grateful for it, things working out and God working it out. I feel so much better. Like I said, they had to do two rounds of surgery, two separate times. But finally, I'm I'm on the other side of this and I'm feeling so much better. I've just been on this journey for like the last year and a half on chronic pain and health issues and challenges behind the scenes and just trying to figure out what's going on. And slowly but surely, I'm getting the answers and slowly but surely, I'm getting the help that I finally need and... God is restoring me. He's healing me. He's he's doing what he needs to do to make you girl all right. Next month, July, by the time this comes out, it probably will be July. I will be 40. And I'm just like, okay, I guess that's what comes with 40 <laughs> as you get older. But I'm still doing what, my part to continue to be well and to prevent what I can. And not get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to overanalyze everything that I eat, everything that I do, because that's not good for your mental health. That's not good for your spirit either. Um, I'm just going to do what I can, everything in moderation, and trust God to handle the rest. So that's on that. Art-wise, 
we have also been having some transitions and some changes and I'm so excited about the new collection that I've been working on. It really was birthed out of the last two videos that I shared, which was starting over and the messy middle. This year has been a complete change from last year. Last year, I left social media for the majority of the year. I relied on my email list and word of mouth for like classes, for jobs, for opportunities. I launched my new book, Her Strong Courageous Faith, um, devotional. Um, like it seemed like, okay, we are on, we figured things out. And this year, not so much. <laughs> Business has been incredibly slow. Um, there have been a couple of months where I don't make any sales at all. May, I made $1.92 and that was from my royalty from my book, one of my books on Amazon. $1.92. $1.92. I, I can barely buy a paintbrush with $1.92. I, I can't even buy paints <laughs> with $1.92. I cannot buy any supplies with $1.92. So yeah, but June, I decided to go ahead and just revamp my business. I felt very clearly, I did a month long fast in May and I just felt very clearly like you need to stop playing games. Hold on, water break. Stop being afraid of who might leave, of who might have pushback but go with God in every sense of the way with your business. So our new model is we use art and words to inspire women from the inside out. That is with wall art, that is with lifestyle products, and that is with soul care tools. Our colors, our signature will be vibrant and bold. And the impact we wanna make is like everything that I make, everything that I produce, I want it to be infused with the message of faith, hope, and confidence. And so last month in June, I came out with these new 40 I am Bible-based affirmation cards. Often in the Christian world, we hear people say, remember who you are and whose you are. But I always thought for like several years, people always say this, but how do we know who we are? What if you don't know who you are in God? Who? What if you don't know really know how Christ sees you. You can't operate in who you're supposed to be if you don't know who you are. And so I finally came out with these. There are 40 of them. My artwork is on the back and they have different affirmations based on scripture. I think that one was backwards, yeah, upside down. Based on scripture and what God says about us. And so, they are very encouraging. They are principles, so you can get them right away. Just download them off my website, and you can print them out at Staples, Kinko's, wherever you want. I'll print them out at home. Um, use some nice cardstock so they can last. Another water break. And you're good to go. Keep them for yourself. Put them in your journal. Put them in your Bible. Pass them out. Add them to cards. Do whatever you like with them. Um, my husband's like, you need to add some branding so like if people pass it out, they know who they go, to, who like where to get them from. And I'm trying to figure out a way to do that without it being like tacky. I might just add, not necessarily on these, but I might just add like my website or name at the bottom. Just you know, he's like, add a QR code. I'm like, a QR code. This, that, I don't. I don't think. You tell me. You guys tell me. What do you think I should do? How should I go about this? Because I can't find no information on the internet on the best way to do this. So help you girl out. But yeah, so I have those. And then I'm building another set, four different categories, four different like colors. So like this one has, it's a mix of different art and whatever. But the other ones that I'm working on will be cohesive artwork that looks similar, but a little bit different. Same like color pattern. Uh, colorway, color palette. That's what I'm trying to get to. And design feel. So like alcohol ink or like a watercolor feel. Still bold, still vibrant, still funky, still decalies. And the four categories are anxiety, depression, perseverance, and faith. And so those I hope to launch by this month, by my birthday. 
And then I also have some paintings that I've been working on. Literally in one day, I created 13 paintings. 13 paintings in one day. I'll just put a picture here. I had pre-taped all of them and then I just one day, it just came on me. I just started to create and paint it and I was inspired by the paintings that I was making in my starting over and the messy middle videos and it just kept producing. It just kept producing, kept producing and I love it. So I'll show you an example of one. So this would be like the final look that I'm going for. Some of them are square, some of them are rectangle, but this is the style, funky, fun. My friend said that it's very Afrocentric, which I didn't see that until she said it. And I believe it looks Afrocentric because of the patterns, but I didn't see it because of the colors, because there's pinks and there's blues, where typically Afrocentric work usually is like, red and green and yellow and black and granted there are here's another one granted the, those colors are still in here but there's like that pop of pink and turquoise and aqua in there that I absolutely love so that's where we are and then I am going to be taking some of the affirmations from here and adding them on a strip to here so this one I just have it taped on I don't have it taped properly this is just for like a sample I can literally either have the word down there or I could put it at the top it'll just be wherever I feel like the artwork lends it to be like the best place for it and so you will have the small word it's kind of like that small still voice of the Lord when he speaks to you a small still voice reminding you of like this is a whisper of who you are but this whole painting represents who you are. And then on the back, I'll most likely write the scripture that it was referenced, the scripture reference, or I'll write out the entire scripture because I know not everybody has a Bible. Everybody has a phone. And sometimes you don't want to look up. You just want to look real quick and see what it means. Even though it's going to be framed, it's just nice. Like when you first get it to like see like, okay, that's where she got that from. So I'm pretty sure that's probably what I will end up doing. I'm... Praying for the best, believing for the best. I believe that, you know, June, as challenging as it was, it was still such a blessing. Like my family showing up um, to help in different capacities, you know, to, I, mean, I have two boys, um, to watch them, to take care of them, to um, just be there for us. Friends who have called, who have texted the friends who knew some of them like just being like very consistent <laughs> with following up with me. Sometimes you just need that one person to just stay on you and to just feel what I have like given to others or what I poured out. It just felt like it was coming back to me. Like I was reaping everything that I've sown. Anything that you put out into the world, any good that you do into the world, especially in the name of God and from a good pure place, it comes back to you and I definitely felt it come back to me. I had to rely on people more than I have in years, more than I would like to. It was very uncomfortable to do, but I just am so grateful for everybody who showed up for us in all the different ways that they did and I'm just so grateful, so, so grateful. I just wanted to pop in because I haven't done a sit down video in a long time. My tripod broke. So I can't get all the angles like I'm used to getting. I have to wait to get a new tripod, but God is working it out. He's on the throne. My motto is, you know, this is not going to last forever. Things won't always be this way. I won't always feel this way. If I'm feeling angry, if I'm feeling frustrated, if I'm feeling sad, if I'm hitting a brick wall, if I'm hitting challenges, if I'm sick in the hospital, if I'm, you know, whatever it is that I'm facing, I know that it's not going to last forever. Joy does come in the morning. I may feel better in a couple hours. I may feel better and see things change in a couple days, in a couple weeks, in a couple months. Either way, God is working it out. My situation is not forever. It is not eternal. Eternity comes after I die. I'm still here on earth, so that means that things can still change. Things can still get better, and I am believing God for it. I'm, I am now receptive to God doing whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. I'm done asking questions. I'm done trying to figure it all out. I'm done trying to research my brains out so I can make an educated decision. I want to make a Holy Spirit-led decision. And my desire this year 
has been from jump to like be able to discern what God is saying, to hear his voice more clearly so that the decisions that I make are not based off of feeling or emotions or what people are telling me that I should do are based on my own research. They're not based on humans. I want my decisions to be based off of the Holy Spirit and what God wants for me because ultimately he knows what's best. My my team, God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and Holy Spirit, the comforter and guide. Like those are the three that I need on my side. And we we're gonna rock the rest of this year with it. So I'm just so grateful. One thing I will say before I leave is the two sales that I got, the two separate times that I was in the hospital, the two sales that I got were for these affirmation cards. And it's so crazy because literally I'm in the hospital, I get a notification. I am affirmation sold both times. And it just felt like a confirmation. Remember who you are in God, but also God saying to me, remember who I am. It says, I am. Like, remember who I am. In this situation, I've got you. You are safe. You are covered. I am your foundation. I am your rock. Continue to lean on me. Continue to stand on me. If you fall, if you fail, if you stumble, fall on me. I am a solid foundation. I've got you. You're not drifting. You're not just floating in the air or floating or roaming through life or roaming through the earth. I am with you and you are good. You are solid. I've got you. Let that be an encouragement to you. If you haven't already, come on and subscribe. Join the family. I would love to have you. That's it. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, stay well and be blessed. Bye.